Ever wondered how an aircraft carrier functions? This question might have baffled you once or twice, but don't worry. Today we're going to delve deep into the mechanics of Marvel. So all you need to do is to make yourself comfortable, maybe with a mug of your favorite tea or coffee, and get ready for an informative ride. An aircraft carrier, contrary to what you might think, isn't just a giant floating parking lot for planes. No, an altogether different beast in itself. It's more of a colossal floating city that is home to thousands of people. These aren't just your everyday sailors, these are the best of the best. The ones who are entrusted with the responsibility of operating and maintaining this gigantic piece of machinery. The aircraft carrier is a symbol of strength, a testament to human innovation, and a behemoth that commands respect on the world stage. Its mere presence can sway the balance of power in an instant. But what makes it tick? Well, it's not just about the size or the number of planes it can carry, it's about the elaborate systems and processes that ensure its smooth operation. From the propulsion systems that move this leviathan across the water, to the intricate systems that help launch and recover aircraft, every element plays a critical role. But at the end of the day, it's not magic, though it might seem like it. First things first, an aircraft carrier is propelled by nuclear reactors. Indeed, the marvels of engineering and science come together in this marvel. You've heard it right, nuclear reactors. And just to give you a sense of the scale we're dealing with here, we're not talking about one or even two, but rather two gargantuan nuclear reactors. Now, try to imagine the staggering power that these two reactors possess. Consider, if you will, the sun, a massive blistering sphere of gas burning at millions of degrees. Now picture not just one, but two miniaturized versions of this celestial giant right there in the heart of an aircraft carrier, silently and ceaselessly working to propel this massive across oceans. So what precisely is the function of these nuclear reactors, you might be wondering? Well, the answer to that is as fascinating as the reactors themselves. These behemoths create steam. This steam, in turn, powers turbines. These turbines, acting like the cogs in an intricate clock, drive the ship's four propellers. These propellers, then, are the final actors in this grand play of mechanics and physics. They churn the ocean waters, pushing the aircraft carrier forward, enabling it to carry out its critical missions. In essence, then, an aircraft carrier is a steamboat. Yet, it's not any steamboat. It's a truly massive, sophisticated steamboat that showcases human ingenuity and the power of science, a really, really big and sophisticated steamboat. Now, let's talk about the planes. Have you ever wondered about the intricate process of how these marvels of engineering take off from what seems to be such a short runway? It's a nuanced operation and the key lies in a system simply referred to as the catapult. No, I don't mean the archaic weapon used in medieval times, although picturing that scenario does add a touch of humor to this otherwise technical discussion. The catapult system we are referring to here is a wholly different beast. It is a highly sophisticated steam-powered system. Imagine a vast powerhouse of energy and precision concealed beneath the deck of an aircraft carrier. Its purpose? To propel the aircraft with immense force accelerating it down the limited length of the deck. This rapid acceleration provides the aircraft the critical speed required to lift off and take to the skies. But why employ such a system? Why not build a longer runway? Well, the answer lies in the limitations of space. Aircraft carriers, despite being some of the largest vessels on the seas, have a finite amount of space. The catapult system allows for efficient use of this space, making it possible for large aircraft to take off from small carriers. Think of the catapult not as its namesake, a crude, simplistic medieval weapon, but as a giant slingshot, meticulously crafted for the specific purpose of launching planes into the air. In essence, it's a marvel of modern engineering, wear and power combined to make the impossible possible. Now landing an aircraft on the carrier is an entirely different challenge. It's not just about flying, it's about precision, timing, and control. The planes don't merely land, they have to hit a small target on the moving ship. It's a feat that requires immense skill and concentration from the pilot. To stop the aircraft after landing, they use something as an arresting wire. This is a heavy-duty cable stretched across the deck of the carrier. The comparison may sound outlandish, but it's a bit like hooking a fish. But in this case, the fish is not a creature writhing in water, but a multi-million dollar jet, cutting through the air with immense speed and force. Then there's the radar. Oh, the radar. The radar. It's not just an ordinary component. It's the heart and soul of the aircraft carrier, a symbol of power and might. 
You see, thee is like the eyes and ears of the carrier. It's a vigilant guardian, ceaselessly scanning the vast expanse of the sea and the sky, tirelessly watching over the carrier and its crew. It senses the presence of enemy aircraft and ships, even they are hundreds of miles away. The radar's capabilities are not limited to detection. It provides vital information about the enemy's location, speed, and direction. This data is crucial for the carrier's mission, allowing it to direct its own aircraft to intercept the enemy. Imagine being able to see everything around you, analyze it, and respond to it accordingly. That's what the radar does. It gives the aircraft carrier a tactical advantage, almost like a superpower. But this superpower, like those you see in comic books or movies, it doesn't come with a cool costume or a flashy symbol. The radar doesn't need such embellishments. Its power lies in its functionality, its ability to protect and defend. It's like having a superpower, but without the cool costume. And let's not forget the crew. An aircraft carrier is nothing without its crew. From the deckhands to the ship's captain, these are the people who breathe life into the steel behemoth. Each ship has a crew of over 5,000 individuals. Think about this for a moment. That's a population larger than many of the world's small towns. These are not just sailors, but also engineers, cooks, doctors, nurses, and even teachers. Every single one of them has a vital role to play in keeping the carrier operational. This isn't just a workplace, but a home. Many of these crew members spend months and living on the ship, far away from their loved ones. They work in shifts around the clock under the most challenging circumstances to ensure the ship always ready for action. They celebrate birthdays and holidays aboard the ship, often forging lifelong friendships. Some of them even raise families on the ship, nurturing the next generation of sailors. Indeed, the community on board is a microcosm of society. It's a place where people from diverse backgrounds and cultures come together to serve a common purpose. It's a testament to human resilience, adaptability, and the spirit of camaraderie. It's like a small city that floats. So there you have it. An aircraft carrier is a floating city powered by nuclear reactors. It is a mammoth in the sea, with an intimidating presence that commands attention. Its colossal size is a testament to the brilliance of human minds that have designed and structured it to perfection. It is not just any ordinary ship, it is a marvel of modern engineering. The nuclear reactors that it houses are the heart of this magnificent beast. These reactors power everything on the ship, from the engines that propel it through the water to the systems that keep thousands of sailors alive and well. The sheer volume of energy produced is awe-inspiring, showcasing the wonders of nuclear technology. On board you will find a complex network of steam catapults, a fascinating piece of technology that can a 20-ton aircraft from 0 to 165 miles per hour in just 2 seconds, a feat that defies the imagination and bends the laws of physics. Moreover, to safely land these planes on the moving deck of the carrier, arresting wires are employed, a testament to precision and skill. Moreover, radar systems on the carrier monitor the surroundings ceaselessly, displaying an ever-changing world around the ship, a world full of potential threats and challenges. This intricate system of surveillance is the carrier's eyes, constantly vigilant and alert. Despite all its complexity, it's not magic, but a demonstration of our technical prowess and determination. And as you catch sight of one of these giants on the horizon, remember, it's not just a big boat. It's a symbol of power and prestige, a testament to human ingenuity and engineering. It's an aircraft carrier. And as we wrap up, remember the ocean is vast, and these mighty vessels are but tiny specks on its surface. Just imagine a colossal blue canvas that stretches as far as the eye can see, punctuated by these tiny dots, which upon closer inspection reveal themselves as massive fortresses of the sea. These marvels of modern engineering, the aircraft carriers, standing tall and proud, are far from insignificant. They command respect and admiration, these seemingly miniature entities in the grand scale of the ocean. Think about their sheer complexity. From their mammoth size to the roaring engines, from bustling decks to the silent depths beneath, each aspect is a testament to human ingenuity. Now picture yourself sharing this newfound knowledge with your friends, the awe in their eyes as they realize the tremendous world that lies beyond our shores. This understanding, this respect for these sea giants and their place in our world is what we aim to impart. Knowledge is powerful, so wield it well. Paint vivid pictures, tell compelling stories, and leave a lasting impression. Until next time, stay curious.